This was my face on Friday. Ooh. Hi everyone, I'm Tamara and I'm the Acquisition Specialist at Adore Beauty. I'm here today to talk to you about my sensitive skin and the products I use for it. Uh, before we start, if you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. For as long as I can remember, I've had super sensitive skin that's prone to being red, it's prone to being dry, um, it just reacts to everything bit like me, I guess. I'm sensitive and react to everything. What if it turns out that your skin is actually a reflection of the person you are? That's stressful. But anyway, yes, sensitive skin. I think I've become a bit of an expert in sensitive skin due to my troubles over the years. So you might have a sensitive skin if you're prone to breaking out in rashes or if you just easily react to products that you use. Uh, you might experience redness. You might experience a bit of uneven texture or dryness. If you have a sensitive skin, it's likely you have an impaired skin barrier, which means that anything in the environment around you. This is including products, but also different aggressors like the weather, like the environment can impact on your skin and cause it to break out or become sensitized. What we can do is treat this with a range of products that is going to build up that skin barrier and give you the hydration you need to, I guess, combat these mean things coming for your skin. So first up, we have the Bioderma Sensi Bio H2O thing. So basically this is perfect for removing your makeup. With my sensitive skin, I can find that my skin even reacts to things like water, which is a bit distressing. But with the Bioderma, I find that I can use this and I'll get no redness and no reaction at all. It's particularly good for removing eye makeup. Uh, if you've come home from after a long night out, you can use this to take off your eye makeup, take everything off and then cleanse after that. And it's just going to give you that really good start to your cleansing. This will cleanse away any impurities from your skin. It melts away makeup really, really quickly. Uh, and as you can see the bottle's huge so this has lasted me forever next up we have the newfound love of my life i'm in love with this cleanser up until this year i had not met a cleanser that could be so good for me in fact i kind of believed that cleansing was just rubbish because every time i used a cleanser my skin would be tight and painful but then i met the pie camellia and rose gentle hydrating cleanser i'll show you it has a creamy texture instead of a gel texture. So what that does is it means it doesn't strip away any of the moisture from your skin. Once you're done cleansing, your skin actually feels soft and supple and so much better than it started with. And it smells like apple pie. In the summer when I was on holidays, I got some random reaction to just being at the beach, being in the sun. Who knows? That's my skin. You just can't see what's coming. And my face broke out into quite a horrendous red bumpy rash. And I thought, hey, I've got my new favorite cleanser here. I'll just start by just trying to cleanse it clean it and just see how it goes. And actually within 20 minutes, my skin had calmed so much down. So since then I've been raving about this product to everyone I can and lots of them are loving it too. So my love. As an added bonus, all pie products are cruelty free and vegan. Pie products are super, super natural. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but it's so worth it for what you get. Uh, obviously there's two sizes for this cleanser. So I've already bought the big boy because the small one's just not gonna get me by. Uh, but you can try it out with the smaller bottle first, which just means you can get used to it. And then you can go for the big boy later if you need to. Next up, we have the ASAP Super B Serum. Now I would say this is probably the biggest game changer product for me since I started at Adore. When I started at Adore, I had to wear makeup everywhere I went, even to the supermarket, because my skin was always red, it was always reactive, and I woke up in the morning and it was already red, as if it was allergic to even just sleeping. But since I started using the Super B, it has completely changed my skin. In particular, what it does is lock in moisture into your skin, so it stays hydrated throughout the day. Uh, it reduces redness or minimizes redness and basically just works with your skin to create a better skin barrier so that you're not more prone to reaction like I was before. So Super B Serum is your vitamin B3 serum or niacinamide. It's going to hydrate the skin, it's going to increase suppleness and it's going to help to reduce those fine lines you get from just the daily dehydration. It's very lightweight texture. I don't know. Oh, I have some left. I thought this was empty because I use it very frequently. So it just absorbs into your skin super easily and I use this morning and night and it's completely changed my skincare game. It also smells really nice too, so that's good. If you guys wanna hear more about vitamin B, Joanna actually did a video all about niacinamide, which we will link above for you. So the next product I have here is the SkinCeuticals Retexturing Activator. Now this is one on a little bit on the pricey side, but let me tell you about it before you run away. So basically what this product does, it's, it's a combination of exfoliation and hydration. So for people like me, I find that using products that contain retinol can really freak out my skin. Even products with the smallest amount of retinol, my face breaks out. It's like, nope, Tamara, cancel, hate you, and turns into the Sahara Desert. Then I met this this product. This serum gives similar results to a daily 20% glycolic acid treatment. It has a combination of 
chemical exfoliant, but also it has that hydration in there so that your skin isn't just being stripped, it's being exfoliated, but also hydrated at the same time. So one of the key ingredients is hyaluronic acid, obviously, and that's gonna give you the boost of hydration. It also contains kombucha, which is a bit exciting, but basically what this has done for me is been able to give me that glow without creating a great big breakout in my skin. If I use this consistently, I can actually get a glassy texture to my skin, which I was never able to achieve before. It's really, really good for all kinds of skin types, but especially for a sensitive skin where you don't just wanna be taking away the moisture, you wanna be giving it back to it at the same time. And that's why I love it. Obviously when we're using active products like retinol, like your, what are they called? When you're using retinol and glycolic acids, you need to be wearing a sunscreen during the day to protect your skin. Even if you're not using these products, you can benefit from the daily use of an SPF 50. The final product I have here today is the Probiotic Sleep Mask from Aspect. Now this is kind of like a big hug from your friend when everything goes to mess. So this is a sleep mask, obviously, that you can put on before you go to bed at night and wear it overnight. So what you would do is use this as the last step in your skincare routine if you're going to do a few serums beforehand and it's just going to lock everything in and it's going to give you really deep nourishment that your skin's needing. If you don't want to leave it on overnight you can just leave it on for 20 minutes and then rinse it off but leaving it on overnight is really nice because it's just going to mean you wake up and everything feels better. This mask is filled with a blend of hydrating ingredients that are going to boost the moisture levels in your skin and help it with any redness. I haven't actually got a moisturizer here with me today because I'm yet to find one that I truly truly love. What I can do is use this. I probably use it about once a week and it does give me really, really good moisture. I am on the hunt for a really good moisturizer for sensitive skin. So if you guys have any ideas, please feel free to put them in the comments below and help a gal out. So I'll just pop some of this onto my hand for you. My hand's never gonna look so good. So it's super creamy texture. It's quite thick. It's also perfect for if you're going on a long flight. Nah, I'll just rub it in. My hands need this nourishment right now. <laughs> For those of us that do have really sensitive skin, what we need to do is focus on creating hydration in our skin and also building up that skin barrier so that when nasty things come in and try and give us horrible rashes, uh, our skin's ready and it's prepped to defend against it. For instance, you've got your niacinamides, so your vitamin Bs are going to be really, really good for that because they're going to build that hydration. What's not going to be good is using too many actives. If you use too many actives at once, that's just going to throw out your skin balance and um, create a few issues. If you want to start introducing ingredients such as retinol into your skincare routine, I would recommend just spacing it out. So maybe start by trying it once every third day and see how you go. If it becomes too much, you can always back away or you can increase it as your skin gets adapted to the products. But I'm so boring. Just for example, the other day I was trying to do a cute face mask situation with my cat and I put on this new mask that I'd got from work and I didn't really look at the ingredients. I had horrendous results, which was my face looking like not only a tomato, but that I'd stained it with something. But in saying that, I used the cleanser as always and then popped some of this on and actually within about an hour, it had returned back to normal. And I'd sent everyone at work a photo being like, it's all okay, everyone. My face is not burnt off today, so. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button below or hit the bell. Hit the bell? Ding the bell? <laughs> Don't say that. Okay. Hit the bell? Do you hit a bell? What are you doing when you yeah, click a button? Click, click. click, click. Or you can click the bell to be notified of when we post new videos. If I do find that holy grail moisturizer for sensitive skin, I will be sure to keep you informed. So you might see me here again in the future. Thanks everyone.